Hello, welcome to Frosty76201's YouTube Toy Review Channel. Today we are going to do Marvel Universe Classic Iron Man. That's right, this is the uh, 60's version of Iron Man. Um, this design was uh, created by John Romita Sr. And you can see it's, it's, it's a very accurate looking design. Uh, it is kind of a bit thin though, uh, admittedly. Um, however, like I said, it is very close to what John Romita Sr. created for Iron Man. Uh, this is when he, uh, I guess you'd say this is the original Mark III uh, Iron Man suit. Uh, the paint job on this particular figure is very good. It's, uh, it's got a very good reflective red, uh, very metallic. Uh, the only down spot, and this might just be my particular figure, is on the head sculpt. You can see it's got this white on it. Also, there is a small silver spot right there, and that's no fault of the figure itself. That is actually just from this figure being consistently knocked off uh, the shelf. So I have to find a way to repaint that. Uh, if any of y'all do figure customizations and can help me match up the paint scheme, I would greatly appreciate that. Otherwise, I have to figure something out. Um, I'm no, by, by no means a customizer, so any kind of help would be very appreciated. Um, this has the, uh, the molded closed fist and the open one. There is a small repulsor on the palm of this hand, uh, and none visible on this one. Uh, he's got the, uh, the little arc reactor right there. The, the uh, gold here is very, is kind of like almost a, a dull, very faded, not very uh, good. Those elbows do bend at 90 degrees, wrists do rotate, 360, the head is on a ball socket, uh, upper or mid torso uh, articulation, and I'm going to move back and forth, and a little bit of side to side action right there. So. We also have upper bicep articulation, 360 degrees. Uh, the hips are a lot better on this one because it allows the figure to actually keep the legs out. And as you can see, he's got double jointed knees and ankles rotate as well as swivel. Um, he does stand very well on his own. Um, Like that. Then he also comes with the uh, same exact repulsor blast that seems to be a standard in all Iron Man figures. However, splitting him with the repulsor blast does wake him down to the point where he will not stand straight. Um, best way to take care of this problem is really in how you pose him. Um, put the uh, Last on the upper part of his wrist and kind of bend his knees a bit backwards. So he's going to be arcing back a bit, but as you can see, he has a very good pose. Um, any other type of pose is going to be nearly impossible just because he will fall and you will ruin your paint. Uh, that is actually very annoying to me. Um, but I'll figure a way around that. I'll get a marker or something. Or I'd like to get the actual paint. So, like I said, if any figure customers, customizers watch this video, any advice would be uh, greatly appreciated. Um, well, you know, he's got that standard Marvel Universe articulation. And uh, like I said, he's very, he's very difficult to keep uh, standing up with that uh, with his uh, repulsor blast going there. So, negative sides, uh, difficult to display, constantly falling over off the shelf, uh, a bit thin, uh, positive points, uh, probably the best hips out of any Marvel uh, hip joints out of any of the Marvel Universe figures, uh, excellent sculpts, excellent paint job, um, 
all in all, a fantastic figure. Uh, if you're a fan of like that Silver Age or you know early modern age comics like I am, then this is definitely a must in anyone's collection, and you can still easily find this in any retail um, retailer, such as Walmart or Target. And it's not a difficult or rare figure to find. So if you run across them, I mean. $7.88 plus tax, I think is what the retail for. Isn't too bad for price. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd give this figure altogether about, realistically, 8 out of 10. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you back here soon, and uh, I can't wait to uh, hear some of your comments. Thank you, and uh, have a good night.